My name is Monica. I work here at Reasons to Believe, and I'm also a mother of three. I became a Christian as an adult and am fairly new to apologetics. I, like many people out there, sometimes struggle with how to share my faith. So I was really blessed to have the opportunity to sit down with RTB's theologian, Kenneth Samples, and I got some really great advice on how I could do just that. When, when you think about, you know, your journey, right, and you are somebody that people look to, your, your knowledge of the different religions and the way that you're able to just speak on it, right? In your journey, would you say, um, do you come alongside people? Um, because we're commanded to, to do it in love, right? And yeah. we're, we want to uh, have the dialogue of what we believe. So would a good approach be, hey, I may not have all the answers, but let's journey together. Does that create a safe environment for somebody who might be Muslim or um, instead of this, I'm Christian, I know everything, yeah. do what I say. Um, because just in yeah. hearing you speak, that's, I would want somebody like you, you know, or, or any season of their life to do that. You know, the origin of this book was I was teaching at a public college. Um, I was teaching a world religion course, Hindus in the class, Buddhists, Muslims. Inevitably, they would discover that I was a Christian. They'd, you know, do a search on me or uh, somebody would notice that I had written a particular Christian book. And they would ask me uh, as students, and I would look at them, and I had a real sense of care and compassion because they'd ask me, why did you pick Jesus? Why not Krishna? Why not Buddha? Why not Muhammad? And I look at them as students that I wanted to care for, mm -hmm. students that I wanted to help. And that was the thing that kind of motivated me. And in the book, I want to help people to feel comfortable, uh, to feel like, hey, I can, I can do this. Um, I can talk about my faith. I can be confident. And I can talk about other people's faith, even if I don't know every possible doctrine and theological issue. So, you know, I would say keep it up. You have a great way of interacting with people. And I think as you continue that, the Lord's going to, he's going to, he's going to bless your efforts. Um, and, you know, you, you have a way of coming across in a very sincere way. That, that is, that's golden. That's really what you want to focus on. Mm -hmm.